Hey everybody, I'm Dave with Growing the Home Garden. I'm here in my greenhouse today and I'm just going to show you something that I propagated right before the frost happened and that's some pineapple sage. Now if you've ever grown pineapple sage before, it is a beautiful plant. puts out these red blooms that are very attractive for pollinators and I have bees all over them. Hummingbirds love them too. Uh, so they're a really good plant for the garden. The problem is here in Tennessee, they tend to be a bit more of an annual. So they will die over the winter time. Sometimes they might come back. They could come back from seed if the plant got far enough along to actually produce seed. Uh, but it just depends. If the winter is really harsh, there's probably no chance of it coming back. And you just never know. So I took some cuttings to try to preserve them over the winter so that I'd have a bunch of plants to plant when the danger of frost ha passes in the springtime. So let me show you what I've got here. So right here, I've just got this little plastic container. It's an old carry-out container I've just had around. And I just went and I stuck each of these little cuttings in it with some peat. And you can see here, just check out that little root system right there. And they were probably rooted about two weeks into it. And I've left them in this container for this entire period of time. Uh, under some lights in the garage. Now pineapple sage is called that because when you crush its leaves and stuff it's got a really pineapple like scent. It is edible. You can eat the flowers. You can eat the leaves if you want. Uh, typically if I use it for anything I'll put the leaves in a tea or something like that. Uh, but it is a beautiful plant. Extremely easy to propagate. And to date I don't think I've had any cuttings not make it. And I want to show you this right here okay do you see how i've got this layered or laid down horizontally well let me pull that up that worked fine for the cutting i just stuck it in that way and let's pull it out wow that's a little tight let's be careful here and check out that root system so that's a really nice little root system that's grown on that plant uh, in just a few weeks so it's really easy to grow every one of these was successful I've watered this once since I put it in here. Uh, the rest of the time, I basically have had it covered just like this. And they're under fluorescent lights, so they are actively growing in the garage. I will probably need to bring them in from the garage and put them in the house at some point because they are starting to grow to a point where I'm probably going to need to transplant them. But we'll see how that goes. I'm going to continue to leave them in here for as long as I can because I don't have a lot of space in the house for extra plants like this but they did very well. And pineapple sage is just something that you can grow on your own very easily. You can buy it for two to four dollars at a nursery somewhere, and then you can make a whole bunch more of them. So, you know, if you like to plant something in mass in a large area, they do like full sun. Um, anywhere you've got that's got a full sun location, they will produce tons of blooms. They do tend to bloom very late in the season. So if you're looking for blooms in the summertime, you're probably not going to get them. You'll probably get them much more closer to fall. Um, and the more sun you have, the quicker they'll actually bloom. I don't get a lot of sun in my backyard anymore. And so they bloomed really, really late. I mean, it was, it was beginning of October when they were actually starting to bloom. So thanks for watching. And if you guys found this interesting, please hit the like button, subscribe. And if you do try this, let me know how it goes. Tell me if you were able to get this kind of a success rate. Right now I'm at 100% and hopefully I can maintain these over the winter time and then plant them out next spring into somewhere where the insects and our family can enjoy them. So I'm Dave with Growing the Home Garden. Thanks for watching.